Good morning, everyone. We'll go ahead and get started. Good morning. Good morning, choir. <laughs> Choir's here. Uh, there are uh, several announcements to go through in your bulletin, and we'll just do these very quickly. Um, today is a fifth Sunday, and so we try to uh, raise some money for the Holston Home for Children. Uh, you should have some inserts in your bulletin about that if you are able to contribute. I know they would greatly appreciate it. Uh, today is the last day for the microwave popcorn for March for the backpack program. Starting tomorrow, we are collecting ramen noodles for the month of April. Uh, the indoor yard sale setup begins this afternoon around 2 o'clock-ish, Kathleen? Around 2 this afternoon? Okay. Okay, between 1.30 and 2 this afternoon, if you have items to donate, you can bring them by. We'll be here most of the afternoon. If you are able to come and help, that would be even better because the more people we have to help, the faster we can get everything set up and, and get on with it. The yard sale will go on all of this coming week, Monday through Friday, 9 to 2, um, and then on Friday it will be 9 to noon. So please spread the word about that. Yes. Yeah, Kathleen said the fellowship is really great, but the pay is not so great. So just so you're aware ahead of time. Uh, the Lenten service this, this Thursday, April 4th, will be at uh, Williams Chapel, AME Zion. They are located uh, across the main road from Dairy Queen here in Big Stone. Uh, be at 12 noon, short service, and a meal to follow. Uh, and my understanding is, it says in here that Ronnie Mutter is doing it. It's actually, Luke is doing it, correct? Yes, Luke Spurlock is actually going to be the speaker um, this week in, in place of Ronnie Mutter. Uh, Dogwood Garden Club, they have an early bird meeting on Saturday, April the 6th. Flower Fund, you can still make uh, in honor of or in memorial of uh, or in memory of uh, folks for the Flower Fund. You can talk to Nancy Tony about that if you have any questions. The Easter Cantata, which is called Praise to the Lamb, will be performed during the um, worship service on Sunday, April the 14th, that is Palm Sunday. So please invite your friends to that. And then later that afternoon at 2 o'clock, we will have the Easter egg hunt. If you want to come and help with that, it's always a good time. We're hoping the weather will cooperate and we can be outside this year because it's a whole lot better. Um, and if you still want to contribute or are able to contribute, either some little toys, trinkets, that kind of thing, or even some candy to put into the eggs, um, we will greatly appreciate that as well. April 20th, that's the day before Easter, Katie Shoup is having um, a pop-up bakery here at the church. Um, and there have been several schedule changes to the calendar for the month of April, so I encourage you to check out the bulletin board that is located across from the church office, and that will have that information on there. Um, also, I've got two things, and these are not in your bulletin, and I apologize. That's my mistake for not getting it to Tiffany in time. Um, one, we are going to be selling the chocolate-covered peanut butter and coconut eggs again this year. They will remain $5 an egg. Um, we are going to be making them on the evening of Tuesday, April the 16th. So we need to have all the orders in by April the 15th so we know how much um, we need to purchase. Uh, you can come and see me if, if you're able to help. If you have a stand mixer that we can borrow um, so that I don't blow up the motor in mine like I almost did one year, um, that would be greatly appreciated. If you can come and help, they're actually a lot of fun to make. Um, they're pretty simple to make, and you can help stuff boxes, whatever you want to do. And then on Thursday, April 11th, in the evening from 3 until we get finished, um, we're going to have a stuffing Easter egg party. And that's when we're going to stuff the Easter eggs for the Easter egg hunt in anticipation of that. Um, also, there is up here, there's copies up here. If you look in the bulletin and you see that you are a servant for something in the month of April, there is um, a list up here if you want to pick up one of these to just kind of hang on your fridge or wherever you put important things so that you'll kind of be reminded of when you're serving. Um, and actually, we have a change to the fellowship supper. We are actually changing that beginning in April. We're going to start having it on Sunday, the first Sunday of the month, immediately following the worship service. A few reasons for that. Number one, to hopefully have some more participation in it. 
And also, in the event that we should require some type of fundraising meal, we don't have to schedule an additional meal. We can simply put out a basket at that event and just, just kind of combine it and stop adding more things to our, our already busy lives. Um, so we are going to have a fellowship supper. It will be uh, next Sunday, immediately following the worship service. So just like any other meal we've done after church, go ahead and bring your dish. Go ahead and put it in the kitchen, and uh, we have our hosts. The host responsibilities will not change, um, and I will be coming around to talk to folks who are already scheduled to be hosts. If, if you're not able to do that, we'll get that worked out. Any other announcements? Yes. Anything? Okay. Anything else? Okay. Let's open with a word of prayer, please. Dear Father, we've come to you this morning and just ask that you be with everyone here as they perform their various duties and serve you in their various ways. And Lord, we ask that you be with Robert as he brings your word to us this morning and make us receptive to it. Please place the Holy Spirit upon this place and allow us to hear everything that you would have us to hear as it affects us individually. Ask for all of this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen.